I've been using Copilot's Visual Creator, which is really Microsoft 365 ClipChamp, where you can create an AI generated video in about 15 minutes. I was working with a client who had a simple idea and I suggested to create a video about the topic to support your blog post. We used one simple prompt and received a good first draft. In this tutorial, I will show you the final version first, then I will walk you through how we built and modified it in Microsoft 365 work or school account. I will add the prompt in the comments so you can try it yourself, even if you're not tech savvy. Here's the video that we will recreate. Introducing your children to AI technology can be a fun adventure. Imagine your little ones creating their own stories with the help of AI tools. This video will show you how to spark their interest in technology while nurturing their creativity. Get ready to dive into the world of AI and storytelling. Start by exploring kid-friendly AI tools together. There are fantastic applications designed for children where they can create stories, illustrations, and even characters. Look for options that are easy to navigate and encourage creativity. Encourage your child to brainstorm their story ideas. Ask questions that ignite their imagination, like, what's your favorite character, or where does your story take place? This will help them shape their narratives and feel excited about the story they are creating. Once the story is ready, let your child read it aloud. This not only boosts their confidence, but also helps them connect with their creation. Celebrate their storytelling skills by applauding their efforts and discussing the story together. By helping your children explore AI technology, you're nurturing their creativity and opening doors to new opportunities. Embrace the joy of storytelling together and watch as they grow into innovative thinkers. Get started today and enjoy the journey. As I mentioned earlier, um, when you log into Microsoft 365, you can actually click on Visual Creator if you have Copilot. Or click on Apps and look for ClipChamp. And I'm going to create a video project. Again, I do have the free version. Um, if you want to get the premium version, it's $11.99 a month. The big difference is that stock videos and stock images, there are a lot that is part of the premium package. So let's put in this prompt. So create a video about non-techie parents um, can get their Nigerian children into AI technology at an early age. Include creating their own stories using AI, then let the child read it. Use active writing tone. So let's see what we get. I'll probably get something different than what was in the other video. Okay, so it didn't take very long to fill in. Let's take a look. Notice down here at the bottom, I can zoom in or zoom out because I want to see the whole entire clip. It's about a, a minute and 43 seconds. I want you to notice how the AI generator has provided, you know, various assets onto the timeline. It keeps everything nice and organized. On track one, you will see the music clip. The second track contains the voiceover and the captions. And then on the third track, you will see a graphic. The fourth track contains all the images and video assets. And then the last track contains the text that's involved. So again, make sure that when you're creating videos from scratch, that you try to keep things organized. It's gonna make your video creation really easy to manage. These are some of the images. Notice that in my prompt, I had requested Nigerians and notice we didn't get Nigerians and that's okay. So I went to explore um, some images for 
Nigerian kids in technology. I went to pixels.com, didn't have a great selection of images or videos. These are the common places that I go and be able to use free images and videos. I also went to pixabay.com. Again, there was not a lot of images. If you see this message that says sponsor video by iStock, you have to pay for it. So they have really great images, but I don't want to pay for them. Stock.adobe.com. Um, again, I, there was only three images that was available to me that were free. Finally, I came to freepix.com and was able to find some good images. But the catch is for these images, and I'll go ahead and click on it. It's telling you that you have to mention them in your video. So you can do something in your post that basically says assets um, provided by, and you list whoever the, you know, the company is or the actual um, person it tells you here. So you can easily do that in your post. So I just wanted to show you where I end up getting my images. Now, if you were working for a company, they may have some branded assets that you already have access to that you can use. So let me show you what I did. In my media, I'm going to import. I downloaded all my assets to here and I'm just going to highlight all of them, import them in my media. Give them time to load. So the, the good thing about this is that I kind of going to follow what they have. So you're not starting from scratch. I just want to replace this picture since I want the first frame to be the thumbnail. And this is about, you know, non techie parents. Let's choose an asset with the parents. And I'm going to just replace that existing image by just putting it over top and releasing it. Now notice that this video didn't take up all the space. What you can do is click on it and now click on speed. And I'm going to slow this down a little bit so it will fit in that spot. So I'm going to go to the next picture. You know, them looking at it, you can also play it back and see what it says. So let's turn on the captions so we can see the words. Tech geniuses, as a non-techie parent, you can dive in together and spark their creativity. So you could actually put another picture here. AI for kids. I want to change this image to this one. I kind of knew which images I want to use. Notice that that didn't fit. We can make it fit. And what I'm going to do is grab the handles, make it about the same size and replace that image. Notice that this is showing a half image again. I'm just going to expand this out so it's there. And let's see what it says. Start by discussing the concept of AI with your child in simple terms. I may decide to move this text over here and make it bigger and change the left alignment, change it to left alignment. Now I'm not necessarily know if I like that image. I can come in here and look for a video. And let's just type in AI technology for kids and see what comes up. Again, soon as you see that little dime in there, it's saying that those are premium images. So 
So we are trying to find something free. So on stock video, I'm going to scroll. Here's technology. I'm going to type in computer. And I'm going to use something like this. And let's just replace this image. Again, I want to fill in that gap. We're going to slow it down. Okay, so I've replaced all my images, right, to represent um, children in Nigeria. Notice I haven't had to save anything because by me being in the cloud, I don't have to hit an actual save button. But a couple of things that, that I really got excited about. So notice that the voices were in um, US. So if I click on that, asset of the voiceover I'm going to click text to speech couple things that I can do I can change the language as well as if I add text here let's say that you really wanted to change something here um, you can easily say can I add text here make sure you hit save if I come here can I add text here that easily right so i'm going to go ahead and remove that so you can add your own you know content here if you like which is really easy to do the other thing that was nice is notice because i'm in the u.s base is giving me u.s english i can change this to say english and instead of scrolling for it i'm going to type in nigeria and there it is. I have two voices available. This one is um, the female. And let's click on it and hit save. And every other one we're going to change. So this one we're going to change. Make sure it's in parentheses before it shows up. And choose the male voiceover. So the one thing is I want to see if I can choose multiple clips. I do know I want these to be, and I cannot. Would have been nice to be able to do that. So I have to do these one at a time. So I'll be back. Okay, hopefully I got them all. I'm going to go all the way to the beginning to start. And let's see what we have here. Imagine a world where your child creates their own stories using AI technology. By introducing your child to AI through storytelling, you're not just teaching them about technology. I'm going to duplicate this clip. And the reason why I'm going to do this, I'm going to leave that static. And I'm going to come here under effects, going to make it fun for the kids. With the kids in mind and use comic. Notice how they made that change. So grab that laptop, unleash their imagination, and watch them thrive in the world of AI. So that's, you know, first pass, something really quick. The other thing that I want to show you is that over here, you do have the ability to add transitions. The, as a best practice, when you're using transition, you shouldn't use no more than three different type of transition styles um, in your video. So I always like to um, use crossfade on everything. And they're making you do this one at a time, which I wish that I could highlight and add it. And you do have other options as well, right? So we can use close. We can use thirds. I'm just adding things here. But um, in reality, for me, I prefer to use, you know, no more than three different type of transitions. On this last clip here, you could actually also click on effects. I saw this one called Zoom. Because you can have um, multiple 
um, effects on a clip. Only one transition, but multiple effects. And I saw one called random zoom and just click on it. So I've added two assets to it. With those little few small changes, I know this is not perfect. I just want to show you what you can do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and export it, knowing that this might need some more um, help on it. And I'm going to say, call this recreate AI for kids. And I'm want it in 1080. Um, with the standard free version, 4K doesn't help. If you was using 4K, um, you have to have the premium package. So let's go ahead and use the 1080 and hit export. Okay, very good. And let's check it out. Imagine a world where your child creates their own stories using AI technology. It's not just for tech geniuses. As a non-techie parent, you can dive in together and spark their creativity. You'll discover how easy it is to help your Nigerian child engage with AI, all while having fun. Let's get started on this exciting journey. Start by discussing the concept of AI with your child in simple terms. Explain how AI can help us create stories and make learning fun. Use relatable examples like chatbots or virtual assistants they might already know. Next, find a user-friendly AI story generator online. There are many free tools available that allow your child to input characters and settings. This will help them understand how AI can be creative. Encourage your child to brainstorm ideas. Ask them questions about characters and adventures they want to create. This is where their imagination takes flight, and the AI will help bring their ideas to life. Once the story is generated, read it together. This not only reinforces their learning but also builds a special bond as you share and enjoy the creativity together. By introducing your child to AI through storytelling, you're not just teaching them about technology, you're nurturing their creativity and critical thinking skills. So grab that laptop, unleash their imagination, and watch them thrive in the world of AI. So less than, you know, 15, 20 minutes, folks, we were able to create, recreate a video. We had AI to help us to come up with the um, commentary, and we just switched out the images to support um, the region, and we changed the language. How cool is that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.